Hey guys, back again here with a quick Studio One tip. Say you want to add effects or an effect to one particular part of a track, the ending phrase of a vocal or one particular guitar solo lead note. Well, you can do that real easy in Studio One. It's called Event Effects. In this case here, I've got a vocal. You'll hear it here. It uh, ends fairly dry. Grave. And I want, let's say I want to add a little vocal, a uh, little echo onto that. So, first thing I want to do is I want to split these tracks up. So I'll go in here a little bit deeper, so I can take a look at it. Okay, that's the. What I'll do is I take my split tool, and I'll just split it. So I'll make a separate section right here for that uh, for, of this particular phrase that I want to put the delay on. Then what I do is I open up this. I open up my uh, track information, and if you look down here, there's this thing called event effects okay and what I do is I basically enable that okay and now that basically gives me an effects area that I can drop effects into so let's say I want to put I want to put echo on this so I'll I'll grab a delay you can't see my window here but trust me there it is I'll drop dra dra delay just drop it in on here and let's say I want to put in um, we'll put medium delay on it just to give it, just give, just to give you the effect of it. Move that out of the way, and you'll see here now that I've got an effect specifically on this area of the track. So I'll play here. On your There's the effect. Real simple, real easy way to do it. Can really add a lot of dynamics to your music. What I can do here is I can render this. Okay which basically makes it part of the track and uses less CPU. So it won't use the, uh, you'll see actually the, uh, the um, option to look at the delay goes away, but I can actually, if I'm not happy with this, I can do a restore and get it back. Also, it has a tail feature, so I can add, I can add seconds on to the tail if I want the echo to tail off um, a little bit more into the song. As the song goes on, I could certainly do that. It's got that ability. I can, I can add anything in here, compressors, anything I want. So it's really a great feature, something to check out, um, something that you might want, again, use to add some dynamics to your music. Hope that was helpful. Please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.